How are you feeling about fractions? A little confused, maybe not sure? This video is really gonna help because we're gonna learn how easy it is to multiply and divide mixed numbers and improper fractions. Let's get started. If I say four over seven, and I wanna multiply that by three. Okay, wait, don't do it yet. I know you're probably itching to, but don't do it yet. Okay, what does that mean? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, it means Four over seven means I am coloring in four of those out of seven, okay? And I'm doing that three times. One, two, three, okay? You eat four out of seven and you've done it three times. Can you multiply these together? Do you remember how there's always a little secret hidden one here if you need it? Yeah, always, because this is a whole number. All right, so four times three is 12. Seven times one is seven. What does that mean? Well, look, one, two, three, four. I'm just counting the red ones. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. There's your 12. And seven is how many is in a box? Okay, so this is something we had talked about. This is just a quick review, okay? So just remember the 12 is, uh, I need a different color. There we go. The 12 is this bit, okay? That's the 12. So keeping this in mind, keeping this in mind, we have 12 over 7. How did we get, uh, how do we make this a, a mixed number? Do you remember? We put the 12 here and the 7 there. Okay. 7 goes into 12 one time, minus 7. We have 5 left over. So this is 1 and 5 sevenths. So this is the same number. These two are equal to each other. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that would, that would fill up a box of seven. And then I have one, two, three, four, five left over. So that's the five, okay? So this is the mixed number. All right, so this is what we have already done. How do we do something like this? Two and a quarter times, yeah, that's kind of messy. Let me do it again. Two and one quarter times two and one third. All right, so. First step, you say the word yuck. Can you do that? Okay, great. Get it out of our system. Great. What if I just said two and a quarter? Could you convert that to an improper fraction? Yeah, this is where you should be grinning really big and say, oh, I can do that. All right, so this is what we covered last week. So two times four is how much? Eight, eight plus one is nine. So I have nine over four. So two and a quarter is the mixed number. That turns into Nine and nine over four. Good. Can you do it with this one? What is that? Okay. This one turns into three plus two is six plus one is seven over three. Remember, you just keep the bottom. Okay. All right. Can you do this? Absolutely. What is nine times seven? We just add, uh, multiply the tops. Nine times seven is 63. And the bottom, four times three is 12. Okay, so the first step in multiplying mixed numbers is you want to turn it into an improper fraction. That's step one. Step two is you want to multiply them together, just like we've done before. The last step is to turn it back into a mixed number because that's what you had to begin with, okay? So if, uh, oh, somebody's asking, can I reduce that before I multiply? Sure, do you want to do that first? Okay. So reducing it before we multiply, let me grab another color, okay? So this would become a one, this would be a three, okay? So this is nine times seven, this is, uh, which is three times three times seven, because nine is three times three, this is three times four. So one of those threes gets knocked out. I am left with three times seven is 21 over four times one, which is four. So this reduces down to 21 over 4. We just divide the top and bottom by 3, or you can, you can do it here. Good. Thank you for catching that. Okay, good. So I'm going to put this back into a mixed number. So 21 goes here. 4 goes here. Does 4 go into 2? Shake your head. No. Does 4 go into 21? Oh, yes, it does. It is a 5. 5 times 4 is 20. Okay. And I'm left with a 1. I'm going to stop. Can you tell me what the mixed number is from here? Yep, the whole number comes first. That's this guy. So you write down a big five, and then here's your remainder. One over 
the divisions doesn't change. So five, well, five and a quarter. Good. Let me back this up a little bit so you can see the whole thing. There. How's that? Yes, yes, yes. All right, so again, what did we do? You turn it into improper fractions, and then you multiply. And then you turn the improper fraction answer into a mixed number, because that's what you had to begin with. Yeah, messy problem, huh? <laughs> but good. Isn't this fun? Like, when it makes sense, it's like, oh, I get it. Okay, let's do it again. Let's do another one. What if I have this going on? If I have, let's see here. Oh, you can see the whole page now. Okay. So I have three and three quarters divided by one and a half. Now what do we do? <laughs> panic. No, no, no. You don't panic. All right. Do you remember how to turn this into a multiplication problem? Okay, so let's, this is as complicated as it gets. So here we go. This becomes three and three quarters divided by one and a half. I just rewrote the problem, but I, instead of this awkward thing, we have this. Okay. So now, can you turn each of these into an improper fraction? Absolutely. Okay, let's do three and three quarters. So three times four is 12. 12 plus three is... 15, and we keep the divisions, 4. So 3 and 3 quarters is the same as saying 15 fourths. Okay, Divided by 1 times 2 is 2, plus 1 is 3. And 1 and a half, you can see that's 3 halves, yeah? Okay. How do we turn this into multiplication? So all we do is we rewrite this, 15 over 4, and then multiply, and now this one does a handstand. So this is going to be multiplied by two-thirds, okay, two-thirds. And now we're going to multiply across. Do you want to cancel before we multiply? That might make the multiplication a bit easier, right? This is three times five. This is two times two. Okay, so this three goes away. This two goes away. So I have a one and a one. So five times one is five. 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, so now let's turn this mixed, uh, I'm sorry, this improper fraction into a mixed number. Okay, so we're going to have a 5 in the box and a 2 here. 2 goes into 5 two times with 1 left over. So this 2 is the whole number. This is the top, and these are the divisions, this guy here. Okay, so my answer is two and a half. All right, so we started here, we rewrote the problem, and then we turned it into improper fractions here. We flipped it, this is uh, number three, here, let me use a different color. This is step three, we flipped it, and then we did the multiplication. And then we turn it back into an improper, uh, we turn the improper fraction back into a mixed number. Woo! All right, if, if you followed that, even if you feel like, oh, I don't know if I can do that on my own first, if you followed some of this, give me a smile so I know we didn't lose absolutely everybody. When somebody's eating, are you having breakfast? I see some breakfast going on there. <laughs> Did you save some for me? <laughs> I guess it depends on what it was. I asked one time a kid was in class and um, like on Zoom, and they're like eating, and I was like, "Did you save me some?" And he told me it was like one of the foods I absolutely refuse to eat because it's just it's so icky. You want to know what it was? He was eating peaches. I cannot stand peaches, but wait, I have a good reason. I have a good reason why. Do you want to know? It was my job as a kid to pick up all the rotten ones. You tell me, would that put anybody off of a food that's normally a pretty good food, right? you couldn't pay me to eat a peach. <laughs> so <laughs> there you have it. All right, one of Aurora's deep, dark secrets. Do you want me to do a couple more examples like this? A couple more examples. We have, we have about 10 more minutes, yeah? Let's do a couple more problems like this so you're comfortable. You're gonna start to see patterns. The more problems you see like this, the more patterns you're going to see. You're gonna give me peaches? Oh, lovely, thank you so much. Let's see if I can return the favor. Okay, um, did we do this one? I don't think we did that one. No? Okay. All right. What's my first step? My first step is... <laughs> I 
first step is to watch Aurora do it. Okay. Um, how about if I'm not around? <laughs> okay. My first step is to turn them into improper fractions. Do you see how they don't match? We don't care about that. Somebody was saying make the, bo the bottoms match. That's for addition and subtraction. Remember, for multiplication and division, they don't have to match. We don't care. We don't care. Okay. So turn this one into an improper fraction. That's 2 over 5. 2 times 5 is, shout it out. Yeah. 2 times 5 is 10 plus 2. 12 over 5. Good. Divided by 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. Excellent. That will get turned into 12 over 5 times, what do I put here? Can you shout it out so I can lip, read your lips? Good, good, good. I'm seeing 4 ninths. Excellent. Good. Um, anything you want to do first? This is 3 times 4. This is 3 times 3. Okay. Oh, you want the camera in a little more? Sure. How's that? Okay. So, yep, yeah, one of those goes away. Okay. 4 times 4 is 16. 5 times 3 is 15. Ooh, so close, isn't it? You can probably already tell me what the mixed number is going to be. But let's just do it officially over here. So we have, what did we do? We, uh, we wrote it into improper fractions, turned it into, uh, so mixed number, improper fractions, and then turned it into a multiplication. So we changed the, multi the division to multiplication by doing a handstand on this guy. We just flip it. We use the reciprocal. And then we just do our multiplication, just like we normally do. Just like we normally do. Okay? And then the next thing is we have a 16 in the box, a 15 outside of the box. 15 goes into 16 one time. And I hope you see you have one left over. So that means the answer is this one is the whole number. This one is the remainder over the number of divisions. And if you think about it, does it kind of make sense? Look, these numbers are really close. Two and two-fifths, that's like this long. Two and a quarter, that's like that long. So we're dividing one by another, but they're really, really close. So it's about one. It's about one. Yeah. All right, would you like one more example, and then we'll move on to some secret codes? All right, let's do one more example. Can I move this, or do you need it for a second? You good? Give me a thumbs up if you've got this, if you want me to move it. Okay, excellent, excellent. Okay, so you want to know what other <laughs> foods I don't like? I'll tell you as soon as we're done with this next problem. Yeah, okay, here we go. One and three quarters times, let's do a multiplication one, two and a half. Okay. If you feel comfortable and you want to race me to the answer, you do your work right now. Otherwise, I'm going to explain it. So just tune me out for a minute if you don't want to hear how to do it. Okay, so how do we do this? First step is turn it into an improper fraction. So 1 times 4 is a 4 plus 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, over 4. Multiplication comes down. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. Okay. Do you want, is there anything we can reduce? Mm -mm -mm. Nothing, because they're all prime numbers on the top, aren't they? Okay, so we're just going to multiply them. 7 times 5, hello, multiplication tables. Yes, 35. How about 4 times 2? 8. Excellent. Now, can I turn this into a mixed number? You bet. So I'm going to have the 35 in the box, the 8 outside. Okay. So 8 goes into, doesn't go into 3. 8 goes into 35, 4 times, minus 32, and I have a 3 left over stop there. Okay, so this is the whole number. is on the top because it goes in a whole that many times. 8 times 4, 32. So we have 4. The remainder is 3, and the divisions are 8. All right, those of you who did it on your own, how'd you do? Did you get it? How do you feel about fractions now? A little bit better. <laughs> so if this made sense and you like this type of learning, this is an excerpt from just a small little sample from my math program. So this math program covers fractions, decimals, percent, geometry, pre-algebra and algebra, as well as statistics and probability. So it takes students from about fourth grade all the way up through eighth grade so they are ready for high school math. In fact, they're more than ready. 
you'd like to learn more about my program, it's at superchargedmath.com. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, you can reach me at my personal email, which is aurora at superchargedscience.com. And I will see you in class.